All right, guys, I'm here roadside. Uh, truck's got a problem. Battery's dead, and it's a Chevy Silverado. This is a 3500 HD it's a dump truck dually, and uh, it's got a dead battery. And looking at this battery, you can see um, it's got a lot of terminals on it on this junction box up here. And if this is your first time changing this battery, you might get a little overwhelmed thinking, oh my goodness, there's all these things connected. How do I take this out? What do I disconnect first? But uh, it's actually quite simple. What you want to do is get a 10 millimeter and loosen up your negative cable, which I already did for sake of speeding up the video, and pull your negative off first. Then come over to your uh, positive 10 millimeter. All right, I already loosened that up. And we want to pull that off. Come on up. All right, and get that up out of the way there. All right, now, if you look back down behind the battery, see if I can zoom in, you'll uh, see that nut down there? That's gonna be a 13 millimeter or a half inch, and that's basically your battery hold down. So you wanna loosen that up. In the front of this battery here, it might be a little hard to see with the sunlight. Um, there's actually a little retaining clip in here. You wanna get a screwdriver, and you wanna stick it down in the side there, and kinda of pry forward, and there. That will lift up this junction box here. Now, if it doesn't lift all the way off, you want to come around to the back. And underneath of this wire coming out of here, you're going to see another clip. All right. You want to stick your screwdriver under there and just pry up on that clip right there. So now, this is all loose. You have this fender brace kind of blocking everything in there. So what you want to do is get your half inch, and I already loosened these, get your half inch. There's going to be one right here along the fender, one here in the back, and then you got one here where this T-section is. Now, don't try to loosen. This looks like a nut back here that loosens on the back side of it. Um, it doesn't. That's permanently welded there. So you want to loosen from this side, and that's already loose. So we're going to pull this whole bar off. So I got this junction box lifted up out of the way. It was really hard. I had to pull on it really tight. And remember our T-spot, our fender frame support that we took off? So I pulled this up really tight and I managed to get this to sit right on top of that frame. Um, otherwise, there was a ground wire there I was gonna have to take off that was preventing me from lifting this any higher, but I did get that out of the way. All right, now our battery, you can see is free. And I'll need two hands for that. I have the battery completely turned sideways. Um, it's a little difficult to get out with your uh, reservoir right here. So I don't know if you can see down in there or not. There it is. See the uh, nut down there with the, with the white uh, washer around it? So I had to loosen that up to give this uh, reservoir a little bit of room to wiggle because this battery is very tight getting out of there. So I turned the battery sideways, and now with a little bit of room, by loosening that bolt and this being able to move, I'm able to slide that battery out of there. Now that our battery is out, um, you can see down in here, this is the uh, battery mount that we took off earlier. Let's get that out of the way, because when you go to set your new battery in, all this is gonna do is fall underneath of it and get in your way. So take that out for now, and get all your cables out of the way you have very little room to get that battery back in here all right but uh i have a feeling we're gonna have to turn it sideways and slide it in sideways the same way it came out to get that battery back in yes i did have to turn it sideways again and it was actually really difficult and hurt my fingers pinching it getting in i actually went ahead and undid that screw down there for this reservoir and i was able to uh actually slide this out even farther and it helped me get that battery in but you're still gonna have to go in sideways with it all right but that's how you uh, remove the battery and you're just gonna go ahead and put your junction box back on your uh, fender frame and so forth and that's it just take one second please hit subscribe and uh, I'm on my way to the next job see you next time